Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Iratis. Lord of the Dead. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last time we left off, we had successfully made it so as we can recruit fallen Dampiers, which are Dampiers that have seemingly fallen back into their whole uh, bloodlust thing. Uh, basically, almost purely physical, save for like one ability of theirs, which is actually kind of a neat ability. Make it so as, uh, enemy loses resistances. Ugh, excuse me. Attack five times. Attack five times. Wait. What's the difference in these two? Oh, cheaper cost. Okay. Um, I really should test out some of these other undead that I have the capabilities of getting. Once again, we're still, um, uh, still not able to use the unfrozen in the black widows sadly enough but we do have three other options um the only one that i've not yet crafted is the reaper capable of destroying both body and soul with their necromantic scythes they are the preferred shock troop for many a power hungry necromancer even before eratus took the stage Despite this, the nature of their ability to channel destruction back to their masters is still poorly understood. Since the curse they carry themselves as uh, carry seems to predate the dark arts themselves. The best that Eratus was able to discover is that it's something primal, inherent in the world that does not and might not ever have a name. But while their true origin might be an enigma, their purpose is anything but to wage war on the living. And that's the Reaper. Reapers are pretty aggressive in the damage. Fairly accurate. Oh, they start with A block and A and ward. That's actually pretty good. A uh, golden red. Very cool looking sets. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a nice purple. I like the purple. Oh, the purple's the base. I'm an idiot. Oh, kind of like this, but at the same time. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Don't think I ever got to the effects here. Let's see. When killing an enemy, the Reaper restores 10% of the vigor to itself and all minions. Does not trigger when uh, killing a summoned enemy. I'm not entirely certain what the hell this stuff does. It, is this because I... all the other additional stuff that we've got on him? Maybe? Anyways. So, we have the Reaper. Um, moves forward, deals 100% physical damage. Spectral Wave, magic attack, hits every enemy for 50 magic. Ignition, ignites the target for three turns and curses the target, so they take stress and physical damage. That's pretty cool. Drain, removes all buffs from the target, interrupts stances, does not miss. That's pretty sweet. Reap power, buff, Eratus receives 12 spell power for four rounds. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really damn good. And then that can be upgraded for 18 spell power. So basically you could... Let's see, what is it? You can dissection... Reap. Dissection, reap. Dissection, reap. And so on and so forth. And then Scythe of Death. Physical attack for each 1% vigor and sanity the target is missing. Inflict physical damage. Maximum physical damage for 100% vigor and 100% sanity missing is equal to 800%. Does not miss. Yeah, damn. I want to give this guy a shot. Uh, and then that one increases the damage to 1000%. This ability kills the target. The Reaper recovers 25% of his maximum vigor. That's actually pretty sweet. Alright. Yeah, I'm sold. Let's go ahead and give one a shot. Give him a level 22. Now, I suppose when upgrading a Reaper, we would want to change... Oh, one second, got to move my microphone around a little bit. We would want to change what it is that they do 
based on what it is that we want them to do. Like, physical damage is great. But again, might want to consider the dissection reap power, so on and so forth. Uh, restores wrath equal to 50% of the damage dealt versus restores mana. Either of those are good, but if I wanted to make it so as Eratus will uh, basically just do nothing but use his spells at the same time, let's go ahead and try mana. Now, 50% or 60 dread? Oh no! Oh, that changes it! Okay, so the magic attack becomes stress attack or becomes more stress or more magic damage. I kind of want to lean towards energy wave. Yeah. Dude's going to be a damage dealer, so. But we won't focus on dread for him. Uh, ignition. That's the target for three turns. 40% damage. This upgrades that to 70. Or. Uh, this one increases the curse to 70. Again. If we're going to focus on him doing damage, all of this is based off of attack. Uh, removes all buffs from the target. Enemy becomes insane or inspired. Or ignores block and ward. I kind of want to do the desiccate. Because as, as good as making them insane or inspired might work. Um... Yeah. Removing block and ward would be great. Let's see. this, And then this one's the... For each 1% uh, inflict physical damage. Honestly, I kind of want to see what the Scythe of Life does, more or less. Alright, so we're making him more into a physical attacky dude. So let's pump some of that up. Um... Probably want to give him a scooch more vigor. Oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't get resist... Or, um, he doesn't get block or ward. He gets the resistances. I can increase... Oh, no, he does. It's just that they're down here. Ugh. Let's go ahead and pop one into both of those. Increases a niche. Increases luck. And then go for accuracy. Let's go ahead and give him a shot. Try him in place of uh, the headhunter for the time. Actually, I like this golden red. Let's go with the golden red. Uh, is this a good time to do so? I don't recall because I took a little bit of a break. Uh, I can go to the soul spring or I can trigger an event. Ooh, actually... Swap out the Bride for Monty. Monty can go where the Reaper was. Eliza, you've apparently got a level up? Yeah, you got a level up. Let's up your evasion some more. Just make it so as you can take less damage. Even with the Reaper in the party. That'll be nice. Uh, Quest. Take this battle squad. Most of your current opponents are mercenaries and would-be heroes looking to kill you and take your things. Wretched hobos, you who you will do them a favor by turning them into more well, skeletons and zombies. Ugh. Well, at the very least, it will serve to teach them some loyalty, a lack of which you can ab bleh, abuse. And damn, I can't word. A bunch of mercenaries are gathered ahead, and you will know for a fact that they are unhappy with the pay they are being provided. The question is, who will do the negotiations? Hmm. Well. If I had any of these three in the party. <laughs> eh, this is pointless. Just kill them. Eh, screw it. I'll just murder them all. Let's see. Rogue cross oh an elite crossbowman. Can't be having that. I 
Yeah. Let's see, remove all debuffs or minions. I forget what it is I have. Let's see, I can curse. How much are you doing with her? A lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can do a significant immune damage. So I think we're going to go with a curse doll. And then. Yes. Probably should could have done that. Oh, no. That's right. You fool, you're in the back. No, oh, your evasion's increased. But. This allows me to use endless power. Oh, wait, no. This one. Doesn't miss. Screw your 50. Uh. Screw your 50. Yes. They've seen me. Yes, I have. Let's see. How much HP you got left? 98. I think. Or my additional attacks for each buff on the part. Yeah, that would have been nice thinking about it. Um, I did look when I had gotten this game. <clears throat> uh, there was apparently a guide that I came with it that explained a good a lot of the ins and outs of how the combat and everything works in this game, which is uh, superb. But. One thing that it does point out is the amount of criticals or critical damage. Critical damage is increased by 1.5. So, yeah. You essentially do 50% more damage. Let's see. We're going to start some fires. There you will always be burning. Till the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, and murder. Excellent. Ooh, a level twenty-four brain at the start of. Combat deal 30 to 45 damage or damage to all enemies. Oh, it's just straight damage. Okay, it's magic damage. You got it. Now that they are dead, you will be sure to provide them with the forms that they know the meaning of loyalty. At 200% experience points for Eratus. That was not too shabby. I mean, again, I know that we're kind of sitting on a buttload of, um... Okay, guys, 30% more damage. Eh. I know that we're sitting on, you know, easy difficulty and all that fun stuff, but, you know. Enough to level. Ah, 13 more. There we go. We got another level three talent. Uh, stress damage to all enemies. Or I can wait. No. Some of the Banshees, Shade, or Wrath. Wrath? Wraith. That's the word. I think I'll wait for the time being. Back into the combat. Uh, we only have the one way to go, and then I think I'll try to diverge off this way. Hopefully we can get something for the Reaper. After winning the Battle of Radis gains a non-consumable artifact. Sweet. Wedding gift. The Enchanted Bone. Skeleton becomes receptive to buffs, but still immune to debuffs. Oh, and then the Reaper. Each time Aratus uses an active talent... The Reaper increases Radis' spell power by 12? Yeah, sorry, Jack. Um, That's too good to pass up. Let's see, where was it? 
Enemy dies, vigor. Oh, I really wish it was actually organized. Enemy dies, werewolf, reaper, here it is. Hourglass of doom. So basically, every single time that I use one of my talents, which I believe counts as one of my skills, uh, just gonna do more, get more spell power for the next turn. And the turn after that. And the turn after that. And the turn after that. You see what I mean? Uh, start of turn, and he receives a random bonus until the end of turn. Sets enemies on fire for two turns when Minion uses abilities. You know, the idea of setting them on fire does seem appealing. Uh, soul. Immune to ignition. Honestly, he's pretty good for the time being. I think I mostly just want to move on to the next elite squad. There appeared to be something new in this one. Oh, no. It was just... A bard. Just, it's just a bard, folks. Nothing to see here. It's just a bard. Let's see. A bard that I don't think I can easily, easily kill. Yeah. Like, maxed out, maybe? But you know what? Go ahead and use Blood Moon for the time being, because you getting extra damage is ridiculous. Also, stymie. <laughs> oh, my lord. You dare attack the Reaper? Alright, well, we'll... Then we'll start with an endless power. Look at that, 97. Jack my belly. Uh, let's start dealing with that rogue because the rogue will do more damage the more damage that he is dealt if that makes any sense oh well, that's not gonna suffice uh, murder murder most uh, howl ah, ah. Uh, puns. Um, let's see. Unfortunately for that rogue, you're up next. It's desiccated, right? Yeah, removes all buffs. Get out of here with that shit. Double kill, kill, kill. Uh, have some fun, Monty. Yeah, Monty being able to do multiple hits in a freaking turn is disgusting, and I love it. See what we got? Eh, nothing ex extraordinarily good. That Monty did level up. Jack. Putting more resistance on Jack seems like a nice idea. Why is this doing pretty good? Don't think we need to pump too much more. Actually, nope, you're all good. You're all good. Uh, you could use a little bit of buffing. Some bones. Just some armor. What is that? Some, some nicer rags. Do we even have any blue or purples? None that you can use. This is of course sadness. Um, with eight. Let's go ahead and up your attack then. Yeah, that should be... That should suffice for the time being. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot how close we were to the uh, end of this section. <laughs> Yep, Gargoyle. Alright. None of them have ward except for the damn Pierre. Take care of this rogue in the back lines, though. 
Go ahead and Blood Moon, buddy. Because that is just a stupid good ability. Now well, they say don't fear the Reaper. They are fools. Alright. I guess you can choose not to fear the Reaper because you don't have those things. Ah. Uh. Go ahead and buff. Let's see, it's when he kills something that all the party gets a little bit of regeneration, right? I recall correctly. And mortar. And then next we'll do a furious swing on the Jagulil. Let's see, for each 1% vigor and insan insanity. That's a lot of damage. Everyone heals. <coughs> ah, you're a post. Let's see, let's go ahead and use your strength of mediocrity on Eliza. Now she's warded. But get away from him, we'll ignore that. Ooh. I'm sorry, did that just do one? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but alright. I'll take a damp here. Oh man, that's that's hilarious. Enchanted clothing, uh, minions game or armor and resistance until the battle ends. Some ectoplasm, purple ectoplasm at that. And when we have that need ectoplasm, God damn it! I mean specifically in the party, BT dubs. Yeah, I'm I'm getting quite a few individuals here. Uh, I required a DMP for here. So we'll go ahead and pump that in. Um, which means we can toss another individual into here. Let's go. Let's go along with the headhunter. Yeah. No one needs healing. I kind of wish that you could toss other other dudes into these like you know you can get 10 mana per individual in here but then you can just casually put more individuals in there because uh look at our team it's just I didn't mean to get that other one I really didn't uh let's see one two three or five until there or one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll get some healing at the end. Ooh, an elite gargoyle. Bring it. You bring it, you stony bitch. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, I want to murder the bard. <laughs> I know it seems like I'm abu uh, abusing the bards, but hear me out. As much as people rail on bards, like even in like the D&D community or whatnot, uh, fact is bards are actually kind of useful. So, you know, if you want to not have yourself a bad time, you'll probably want to go ahead and myrtleize them. Have you adore me? Let's see. You have just way too high of that to really deal with. <clears throat> oh, that's specifically damaged. Max twice per the buffs. Yeah, strength of mediocrity, that's what I was wanting to do. How rude of you, sir. For two turns. Do 
You are me just stress the ignition, right, 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 right. Um, we'll do this to you. Cause then maybe uh my Reaper can deal the killing blow. Oh, all I can kill yeah. Killing blow to this guy. Or not. Stun the target if we can. <laughs> not a double kill. Yeah, I keep on forgetting about resistance being a thing. Badly enough. So. Victory! Maybe it is. Maybe it's related to the amount of... Um, not the amount. The difficulty I've set the game on. Because otherwise I really don't see how the hell I'm at like the midpoint of this game. Nearly past the midpoint at that. And the game's like, oh hey, here's another purple, or here's another blue, here's another green. Target loses 25% or 5% for bosses of its maximum vigor and sanity. Removes buffs. Target loses all blocks and wards. Ignores ward. Spell power additionally increases damage. That's a lot of mana, but that's a really nice ability. Let's see. Three more fights, and then it's the Buis. Uh, more dormant prisoners. I'm running out of things I need. I know I haven't used any mummies, but just because I really not needed to use any mummies. It's a, it's a whole lot of... How to put it? It's a whole lot of creatures that I just don't need to use. Let's see. Piece of stress. Where was it? At this spell. Wheeze me? What happened to the spell I just got? I'm confused as to why the hell that's not a thing. Alright. Oh, pff, I'm an idiot. I didn't get the spell yet. Right. Deal some damage to the bird. Ah, the redirect. Uh, let's see. But, wait, can you be ignited? Yeah. Ow. Um, really, I should have been. I should have been more worried about what it is that the bard can do because I keep on forgetting what the bard does. Besides, just buff. It's a little bit funny that. Oh, she just removed the debuffs. That's no bueno. Stop that. So theoretically, if I were to have, ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. If I were to have two werewolves in my party uh, on the front lines, basically at all times, yes, I'm looking at the damage and going like, oh, stop it. If I were to have two werewolves in the party pretty much at all times, then I could theoretically just... I used the wrong spell. Whoops. I'm good at video games, guys. Well, that's a good redirect. If I just wait until the Reaper comes up, I can... 
feel a chunk of the damage that was dealt. Or just stress him. Insanitary. Now except he, well, no, you do. Oh, can I just do it again? Yeah, I just want to get a little bit of health back for a parte. Oh man, now I'm just imagining a full team of Reapers. All minions gain two attack in dread. Ultra's Feather. Minion receives 16 luck, 16 accuracy, or 18 accuracy, and 12 evasion when an ally dies. God damn it. They're always so good when an ally dies. That's that's the problem right there. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. I, I actually really like the Reaper so far. So I might continue using him until, at the least, we throw ourselves through the boss that's coming up. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. Get your up. Sorry. Uh, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.